Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I'm going to be doing a Michael haul. So before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. If you could give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So with that being said, let's begin. I went into Michael's to get um, either a planner, because I know they were having them on sale, or like a fall sticker book. Well, come to find out, the Michael's that I went to did not have either anything happy planner which was crazy they have an aisle set up for it ready to go but they don't have anything and when i was going there i was like i have to use you know the restroom of course like anybody else and they have the bathroom being one bathroom for kind girl and the door don't lock you have the sliding door, of course, like the regular closing door. Not the door that you're going to go into, but the door like you're going to go into the actual bathroom part of it, the stall. They have the urinal for the men next to the stall that closes. Now, any weirdo can, like, and I'm not trying to be funny or anything, but anybody can go and, you know, some guy can randomly go in there and be peeking on some girl. Like, I, I didn't like that. Like, that was just odd to me. I prefer it to be, you know, and I know it's the whole gender thing, and I get that. You know, I'm not downgrading anybody or anything. It's just comfort level was not there for me. I'm trying to use the bathroom, I'm like telling my husband, can you just stand outside the door and, you know, let them know someone's in here? At least if you're going to do gender, you know, like that, like having genders together, have it where it's only one person at a time. There's only two things. There's the urinal for men and then a toilet. And then the toilet has the thing where it blocks it off and it locks. So that was comfortable. But the part of going in there and seeing the urinal, which is fine, and seeing only one stall is weird to me. I don't know what it is about it, but yeah. But the whole gender thing doesn't bother me. It's the fact of... I want privacy when I'm in the bathroom. I don't even like going to the bathroom when girls are in the bathroom, let alone... Because I don't want people knowing what if my pee's too loud or not to be graphic or anything like that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want that. But it is what it is. So I had to pick up some pink brushes to do a project for the um, Chocola. And then I have to do another project um, with some storage bags that I have to film next. Stay tuned for that video. But if you're all interested in a 20% off entire purchase, okay. so let's begin with this haul with a big thumbs up and if you could subscribe. And again, don't take what I'm saying about gender wrong. So this was the total I paid, $25.83 for all of this. Okay, so the first things I seen when I got there to Michael's, because Michael's, like I said, doesn't have anything. They're paper, like, not paper, like, they're, not like they have the end cap, and here's the price, here's the price thing, and you scan it right here. There's, like, a little thing that says, here's the price, price check or something. It looked like somebody ate the, ate it up, like, if a rat came and just, like, started chewing on it. It was gross. Like, I... I can't do it again there. That location, I can't. Just everything about that location was creepy to me. It was in a big mall. So it's the ones that are like, you have this big, huge mall behind it. But you can't get into the mall through that door because it's just Michael's. And then behind it, like, if you go around the stores and stuff, there's a mall. But, oh my god. It was so disappointing there. It was so disappointing. No sticker books at all. No Happy Planner sticker books. They had random, like, the packs of stickers, like the little individual packs. Not by Happy Planner. Just like, paper, well, not Paper Studio. Um, Recollection, stuff like that. They had that there. They had the paper pads, very little of. They had um, the paper. And what else? They had quite a bit of stuff, but not what you would think. Like, not at all. And I asked the lady, I was like, do you have any happy, like, 
planners. She thought I said planter. My husband kept saying planter, but it was planners. And um, I was asking her, you know, do you have that? And she's like, oh, we won't get that. I'm like, but the fall release is out. Like, what do you mean? And the girl at the register told me we might not get that till Christmas. I'm like, for the fall sticker books? For the fall stuff? And she's like, yeah. Whoa. COVID really got people. So here I picked up in the back of the aisles is the clearance section. And they had like a bunch of Cricut stuff, a bunch of like random stuff. So I did pick up this one. This is the Cricut Infusible Ink. So you get all five colors. It was only $5. My husband loves when I say only. But it was just $5. So it's good for uh, permanent, vibrant. I actually want to use these for like writing. I don't know how well it would do. They are the basics. I like this color. But you could heat activate it. So these are some cute. And this color is not coming off. It's coming off red I think with you. But this is more of a like pinky color. And I don't know if the M is medium. Or if it's just saying marker. Draw using the infusible ink marker on a laser copy paper. Choose a compatible infusible ink blank sold separately. Transfer designs with Cricut Easy Press too. I have the Easy Press. So that is good. And then I picked up this. My, my husband was like, oh, look at this one. And then when I looked at it, I picked it up and I was like, oh, it says $10. And I know these were a little bit more. So this is the travel journal kit. We're going to set this up later. If you remember, I have this here. I have all three of these. I have this kit, but I don't I don't know if I have this pattern. Or even if it's a pattern. But I want to do something with the ink that I got from, um, oh my god, what is it called? The canvas pack. Oh my god. Great. Uh, Choco Chocola. Chocola, yeah. So I want to use that on here and see how well this will absorb ink. I want to kind of go like a brown color. I'm not going to do pattern, but I just want to paint it brown. Or a very pretty color. I don't know yet. But yeah, so refillable leather travel journal with inserts. Customize this leather cover with tooling, stamping, and finishes. Uh, and then it's in another language. So what it comes with is one pre-cut, pre-punched, leather cover, and tab. What are they saying tab? Is it this what they're talking about? Um, three elastic cords, three paper inserts, instructions, leather finish. You will need leather finish, optional tools or design, optional leather, markers, paints, or other dice. Or leather dice. So I'm thinking it might have to be leather. Let's take it apart. Okay, so let's say the price, what it was originally. Um, For this one, it's not saying. It's just saying the clearance price. And then the markers are just saying the $5. But the marker, so you can't even see it on the sticker. Was is gone, but it's shown 5 this one is gone. It's not showing anything but 10 <clears throat> I'm sure it was on a $5 grab bag at some time. So then I picked up paint brushes. And I'm like, you know, I have all this paint. I have canvases. Definitely need a paintbrush. It came with a spatula type. A couple of things. So this is the super value. And I just picked a cheaper one just to start it. Because, again, I'm not an artist. I'm not... Well, I do graphic art. I do art on shirts and stuff like that, but I can't do art on paper. I don't know. I could do it in the computer and transfer it over. So this one cost five ninety nine. I had the twenty percent off, so I saved a dollar twenty, which made this four seventy nine, which is a good deal. So you got paintbrushes in all different, you know, sizes and colors. I like the big ones. And it just says necessities, 25 pieces, super value, artist loft. 
And then brush care, so oils, clean brushes with odorless brush cleaner, removing as much as possible, much color as possible, wash thoroughly. Acrylics and water, you want to wash with soap. And basically that's all it's saying. It's not saying exactly what is in here. So like I see this here, don't know what they call it. And then this one here. And then that one there. So it's like each pack has one. Which is pretty interesting. So I'm going to get me a little thing. I have... I don't think this would fit. Let me see if I could grab it. I have this one, but I don't think it would fit. Um, the little ones, yeah. Possibly. Like the bigger ones, I don't think. Yeah, because you're missing like a whole section here. So, like you'll be missing all of that so there's that one and again I paid not bad $4.79 it's not bad and then the last item and I'm gonna open up the travel come up within a minute the last item is the recollections Halloween this is the only thing I could find Halloween ish besides you know like the statues and stuff that they sell and things like that I'm not a Halloween person I'm more of a fall person I don't believe in Halloween. As a kid, yeah, we all went and got candy. So this one cost three fifty nine originally five ninety nine. It was forty percent off. So here's the UPC. But washi tape could barely find. I didn't find any washi tape at that uh, Michaels. So I was like, is this store closing? What's going on? It looked run down, which it never did. Two years ago, I went there and it didn't look run down. But this, you know. I guess two year passed from the COVID and they didn't take care of it. But this one says, it says boo to you. And then it has like the little pumpkin face. And then it just says happy Halloween. I was just trying to do like Halloween spreads. I have all of this stuff and I'm like, why am I going to buy more? But then, you know, you go there and you're like, I could use that, I could use that, and that, and that, but you know how I am. So, let's open this up and see what we got. Art mine. I'm going to try to paint it though. I want to paint it with you guys. Because I need to do a video of painting, you know, just, the lady sent me the stuff, I might as well use it, right? Okay. Okay, so the texture feels, I mean, it is supposed to be leather. Leather journal with inserts, so it's supposed to be leather. The texture feels nice. It's natural, that's for sure. Oh, it is. Oh, wow. It's strong. Okay, so this is not cut evenly. So I guess once it gets, you know, threaded and all of that stuff, it'll lay is better as than it does right now. So yeah, so once it everything is done, it should be good. So you have the two holes and then the middle one and then the other two. So it's really nice though. I like this. I don't know what the number is for. It's like stamped. And then here's the back. And then I guess the oh, I just made it dirty. Well, not dirty. I just try to see what that was just to see how it's going away but it's gonna patina I believe that's what it's called so it comes with the elastic for the closure like this and I love those things because it's it just it's so cute and then these are the elastics that you're gonna use so I'll set this up later though because I got so much to do right now but yes yeah, so you get the elastics and then these are the books that it comes with. And you get three of them. I think my last one came with a pocket folder, if I'm not mistaken. This one doesn't have it, but I opened it up. So graph paper. The paper's nice. And it's craft stock, card stock. You can hear that. And this is the standard size. 
And then this is your beginning page. And then it's graph, but it's like your weekly on this side. So it's like a Hobonichi type thing. And then you could do like your to-do list or whatever. And the last should be blank, I believe. I would have preferred lying. Yeah, so this is like kind of like almost like linen paper. I don't even know if you could see the texture. Right when I get it to focus. There you go. And they all have the craft. What kind of paper is it stating? Or is it not? It shows you how to do it. It's showing you how to do the three inserts. So like your jump end or sliding it through the middle, both books, and then using one. It's not saying the paper quality or the paper stuff. Step one is in English. Oh no, so it's in English and then it's Spanish. But yeah, so that is my haul. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment, share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you for watching. And I will talk to you in the next video. But look at the pattern like it has already. From just the paper alone, like it's sitting on here, do this pattern. So yeah, thank you for watching. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.